Bon bah re... désolé ça a planté euh... Puis qu'en fallait pas Merde je me suis trompé d'endroit D'ailleurs, je vais voir pour prendre des pauvres âmes ailleurs. Qu'il est toc, West End, c'est les riches. Ouais, après, il y a Whitechapel. Hmm. Ouais, bon, on ira à Whitechapel. Juste après ça, alors... Ouais, Louise, on va la laisser en vie. De là, on va peut-être les tuer. Ouais. Alors, on va prendre sepsis. Pneumonie, ça je sais pas. Sepsis, pneumonie, sepsis. De sepsis, une pneumonie. J'en ai déjà, ouais, 4. Ah putain, je peux pas. Allez, on va aller le bouffer. So you were the killer. I knew I was right. No, oh, in Matraki. Elle est comment ce Matraki? Mon truc, il est mieux. Hein.
Hop. Et voilà. passe ici Good evening my dear Connie Loretta your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold and you know it The Swamboro's Cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my Cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. <laughs> If your true purpose was to help, you wouldn't take money from the poor for your snake oil. Oh, but to pay for it is part of the process, Doctor. If it were free, they wouldn't believe in it. C'est ça. You look ill, Miss Swanbrook. Well, then... Thank you. <coughs> Goodbye, Miss Swanbrook. <coughs> Ok. Ah si, il y a que elle et puis... Euh... Puis les deux palmeurs. Mais on va les laisser. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death, with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It's as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon? Listen to scary stories. Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Ouais, peut-être. 
Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Everything was going well until you arrived. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. Bah, oui. I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. Then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. Goodbye, man. Il est où là Là, il y a une pneumonie, lui. Good evening. It's fun. Tell me the reason why you despise Joseph Larrabee so much, Tobias. A faithless shepherd is the worst brother, for he leads his flock to the abyss by disregarding the right path. God smote this man, for he doubted. I only met him briefly. But he seemed a dedicated man who tried to provide guidance. Do you not believe in punishment, my son? I am not talking about the law of men. I am talking about judgment from heaven. Oh, on va lui dire la vérité. To punish me for my alleged sins. To make people I love suffer and die. Then he did a good job. Won't ever be my lord. Armageddon is upon us, Dr. Reed. The final battle where every soul will be weighed. I'm afraid yours will burn for a long time. Don't you faith give me no doubt. Best. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Avant il était à 1700. Oh.
Bon, bon on va aller en bouffer de deux. Juste le prêtre déjà en tout cas. Good Forgive me, my lord, for my eyes were blind to the devil in front of me. My task will remain unachieved. Good evening, Christopher. Change. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Okay. Goodbye, man. Most of them don't speak English. How am I supposed to interview them? Bah elle est passée où la fleuriste Ah elle est là. Hello again, Christ. Tell me, Camellia, how are things that the dispensary is closed? Very well. On va aller regarder s'entretuer. Hein. Hello. 
work, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. Wondering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. Qui est vit vraiment comme un clochard lui. Je reviens. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this lady? So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My God! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. And I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. How is the sanitary situation evolving in White oh, la merde. I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick. And my lock is solid. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. 
Il a gentil, lui, en fait. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening, she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. J'hésitais à la tuer, mais peut-être que je vais pas le faire en fait. Just say. She earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake medical <coughs> elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Mason, why would you waste your skill and knowledge on crafting snake oil and fake drugs? But this is my only opportunity to continue practicing my art. By giving false hope to desperate people? They all see me as disabled and useless. I'm sick of their pity. Mm -hmm. To accept what has happened to us and what we have become is a difficult process. I'm sorry for what you've had to endure. You'll not get my respect through cheap compassion, Doctor. Speak to me like I'm a normal human being. That's all I ask. Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. And I'm just not ready to forgive her. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swampert? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me <laughs> see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. Actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Goodbye, Mr. Swan. Okay. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? It's locked. Bon allez, salut. Où est-ce que je pourrais le trouver, ce petit malin C'est qui ça, Gwyneth Ah, elle est morte.
si j'avais su, je les aurais bouffés avant. Hein. Alors, on va se barrer. Parce que là, j'ai du mal à comprendre où je dois aller. Good evening, vampire hunter. Are you here to end me, leech? You'll find I will not be killed either. Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you? Murray? Ah. You found Marshall's memoirs. We should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. <coughs> it falls upon me, as once it did Marshall, to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, I wish I could join this battle alongside you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Doctor. Thank you. Mm. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. And tore out my mother's throat. Oh. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One-time leader of Prewin. Killed my father in front of me. Let me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. Were both your yes. And yet, and who was this man? Carl Eldritch, one-time leader of Prewin. Okay. He killed my father in front of me. What will the guard of Prewin do now? Will you stop the great hunt? Yes. We shall continue to protect innocents from beasts like you. It's a bit of a red-headed friend. 
like me. I am indebted to you for sparing me at Pembroke. But this won't always be the case. I'm no coward like those St. Paul Stowe brothers. How long have you known Lady Ashbury? Where is she? And what will you do to her? We saw you meeting her, so of course we investigated. She is gone. Our scouts reported she has sold some paintings and departed for an unknown destination. Adieu, vampire hunter. Until we meet again. Okay. Ah, maintenant je vais retourner à à l'hôpital du coup. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Mm -hmm. Fouillons donc cet endroit. Pardon. Voilà.
vindo aqui. Apparemment, il n'y a rien ici. Voilà. Rien ici, ça doit être en bas alors. Ils veulent vraiment pas me laisser tranquille. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. It's locked, all right. Ah, ils sont tous morts. Bon ben voilà. Not a safe place.
Tu vas me laisser tranquille, toi Ah, du phosphore blanc, ça peut être utile, ça. On sait pas tout, mais il est où le... L'ingrédient dont j'ai besoin. Faut de l'insuline. un peu peur avec leur bruit euh. Tranquille. Putain, il n'y a rien ici, quoi. Mmh. Normalement, c'est dans un bureau au premier.
Ok. Bon, je vais rejoindre les docks. Et des docks, je vais rejoindre. Ou bien je passe par là. On peut carrément plus rentrer dans l'hôpital quoi. de chemin Là à gauche. Là on traverse le pont. Puis là on va tout droit. C'est de là, je peux le tuer. Do you need me? Yeah. So you can thank. Goodbye, Mr. Dick. Allez, à plus. À ton tour maintenant. Good evening. Can I see you? As long as you. Can I off? Perhaps. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Ah, plus, plus. Good evening. What? Inebriate? Yes. I will. Goodbye. Hop. Si normalement j'ai un lit. Ah non, c'est pas du tout ici en fait que. 
que j'ai mon refuge je sais en face. Ouais, c'est ici. Ah ouais Putain, me dis pas que ça a planté. Ah non. Allez les crapules, vous allez mourir. Vous. C'est ça.
will protect you from yourself. Will you cry for me? Qui est le plus simple encore de passer par là. Il y a quoi là-dedans Locked, all right. Ah, bah, ben on peut passer par là en fait. Ah putain mais je les éclate en fait Ah ouais mais complètement Ah bah je me rappelle de cet endroit en fait.
806 et lui. 806 aussi. Ok. Euh, si j'ai ça, là j'ai le pieu. ça plutôt ouais ça, ça peut faire super mal ce truc là en fait Bon, je ferais bien une lance de sang en fait. Ou un truc pour les balles. Bon, on va prendre une lance de sang. Eh merde. Voilà, merde toi.
Et moi, je reviens. This place has been ransacked. They've all been slaughtered. Prewen? No, not their style. Mm, C'est triste tout ça. old Bridget. Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. Okay. <coughs> Alors, elle est où, Harry Jones? Show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Bon, je reviens en fait, je vais me chercher de l'eau. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Metikito. Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I am not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. Who are you really? Tell me your name. 
I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Old Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star. For they reappear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan, the Celtic goddess of war. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. Okay. So the disaster is <coughs> some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final. Okay. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child.
Ok. Alors on y va. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. Glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! Oh, love you. <coughs> ah. My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother, but the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Oh, un peu dégueulasse, Qu'est-ce qu'il fait là Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça là Celle là, l'ennemi. Ok.
Et voilà. Facile tout ça. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You have always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. Bon bah voilà, c'est tout. So it's over then, Young Echo. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Grich, what are you doing here? This is my realm, Echo. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come. Engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes, you prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored. To be part of this oui. legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever. By making you drink gore. his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers. From the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Ah, c'est avec les niveaux qui changent de de tête et de regard, j'ai l'impression. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Son vieux petit ch château.
Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on my maps? I'd better hurry. Just give him the hurry. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep, now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? I noticed that all the icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. I don't know. What will happen to Askel? <coughs> will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't think they are dieu, là, ils sont political fous. intrigues. Askelon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last long. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the vampire hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall. For he escaped their two great gods. Remember that you too are now their darkness. What will become of the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is as wise as it is ancient. You have nothing to fear from me. <coughs> I am not afraid. Do you truly think they are merely scholars poring over dusty books? 
The stone of St. Paul wielded faith sufficient to cast a dragon into the abyss. That is just a legend. Am I not a legend? Are you not about to become one yourself? No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is the secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons. And to bid them fairly well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. Putain, y'a tout ça encore. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat born of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now too? Have I not already answered that question? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. On s'en fout, c'était les Anglais. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you should meet one night. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No, you are my son. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Okay. Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? No, I found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. <coughs> It's locked. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Putain, il peut sauter des trucs de fou, mais pas ça, quoi.
Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. 1865. Like most castles, this one has a crypt, and it holds something special inside. <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep, and this castle is falling apart. la crypte maintenant This painting. Quelle peinture. Ah, de ça. On dirait la reine, quoi.
Il disait au sens. Ah. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. One last switch. Deux cent dix-sept les vieilles. William Thorne.
Ok, mais c'était qui C'était Marshall. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings. Former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place? It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became unwell. Are you not afraid someone might discover you? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? 
Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who's about to come into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. I never thought I'd say this, but I think London's last hope is in Prewen's hands. To stem the epidemic, many districts must be closed. Mortals defend their interests as we defend ours. It is only natural. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this, through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation, and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along, my corrupted blood of hate, the poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was, and still is. What do you do for him? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him with my blood. You feed him? You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty echo who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. No redemption then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. The antidote would not work. I tried. Believe me, I tried. William Marshall infected you. He is the <coughs> original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful... Putain, mais ça fait trois fois qu'on dit ça. Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury. And that's all I wish to be. I understand. And I respect your desire for it. Thank you, Jonathan. How did you meet William Marshall? He was an echo for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. 
He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. Who are How could I? I understand. Thank you. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Forgetting the danger as you turned your back. Like the newborn fool you were. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing its safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Ah, encore du blabla. Elle est beau. Yes. So William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. King Richard and Bodicea? How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing. C'est long, putain. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now. So... Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Oui. Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in... Bon, ça, on l'a lu de l'autre côté, là. Il a mis le feu à l'église. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long. You could blow a fortress down if you released it. I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. I have never seen such a creature. 
what are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift, and implacable. Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible and god-forsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen. What of her? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It's a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The step she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely on my sweet Elizabeth. Oh la la, encore. I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I return to my retreat, infected. Where so is this lui. retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church. Beneath my empty tomb, I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. What happened then? The blood of hate had... You bit her again? Is that how... Elizabeth fled. Sans la lue dans le livre. How did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. Oh, ah, sans la lue dans le livre. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. Blah, blah, blah. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me but oui, Do you not want to be cured? No. Putain, mais... Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. I would Putain, jusqu'au bout, il faut que répéter des trucs qu'on sait déjà quoi. You agree to be confined here then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes. Well, true, yeah. Father, why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky and all its stars. I'm not defeated, for I welcome the sword you bear, for it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, father. 
Bah t'aurais pu le tuer avant. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No, I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. Who cares? We are vampires. We are death. No, Jonathan. I won't bring another disaster into this world. I can't take care of this, Melissa. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I once saved from a scowl in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man anymore. I've learned so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell, my love. Farewell. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, the price paid most dear. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Prey to lust and desire, slave to the everlasting thirst. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Bon, moi j'ai eu une mauvaise fin, moi. C'était sympa. Je m'attendais à mieux au niveau de la fin parce que c'était vraiment long quoi. Le boss c'était pas dur. Non non il était plutôt facile. Euh, J'aurais jamais dû continuer à tuer pour, euh, pour obtenir la lance que j'ai jamais utilisée d'ailleurs. Euh, sinon ben c'est long en fait. Euh... Il y a de bons concepts, je trouve, surtout au niveau du craft euh, qui est pas si évident, ou même au niveau de, de la manière dont on obtient nos compétences qui se débloquent euh, en fonction des niveaux qu'on a, et ces niveaux qui se débloquent en fonction du nombre d'expériences qu'on a euh, utilisées, en fait, du nombre de points d'expérience utilisés, pas se gagner. Sinon, par contre, ce qui est embêtant, vraiment embêtant, c'est euh, le nombre de dialogues inintéressants qu'il y a. Surtout qu'on est obligé de les faire pour, euh, pour obtenir des indices sur les habitants. Et euh, du coup, on est obligé de faire toutes les conversations. Et on entend parfois la même chose en double, en triple, en quadruple. Ce, le concept est pas mal, mais euh, est très mal exploité. Donc voilà, bah... Je pas passé un moment exceptionnel, mais j'ai pas passé un mauvais moment non plus. Il y a du bien, il y a du moins bien. Bon allez, sur ce, je vous laisse. A plus.